So guys, we're about to um, listen to and watch the uh, the unveiling, the announcement of the Oscar nominations. Um, apologies if when it gets to the uh, intern apologies if when it gets to the uh, narrative short, I go pale and green with envy. Um, more seriously though, it's going to be interesting to see what, what jostles to the front here. Um, the Banshees of Inisherin for me seems like a hot favourite, though I do wonder whether Everything Everywhere All at Once could provide a few shock surprises, certainly in the Michelle Yeoh Actress category and also the Kei Hui Kwan Supporting Actor categories too. Um, the Fablements, um, we've just watched that, obviously uh, our review is going to be landing. Hugely impressive film, and yet, bizarrely, at the BAFTAs, um, it kind of, I think it only got nominated for a Best Screenplay. Um, so, that's a curious one. Um, a lot of chat about whether the more sort of box office friendly films are going to do well. Top Gun Maverick, uh, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, more often than not, as I've said before, in the weekly rushes, they do well in the visual effects departments, uh, makeup, all those kind of things. Um, but it'll be interesting to see if the Oscars decide to go more populist in the Best Pictures. Another film that I'm kind of intrigued to see how it does is All Quiet on the Western Front. Um, I think that could easily snag the best foreign picture. Tar is in there, obviously. I'm uh, a lone fish in a shoal, or a... Is it a shoal? Yeah, a shoal of many people who love that film, love Kate Blanchett's performance. It did not resonate for me at all. Um, contrary to what some think, it's not born of misogyny. It was born of what I found an inauthentic performance at the centre of it. And I didn't particularly think the filmmaking was that radical or clever so yeah i mean i think those are the films that are going to be jostling for attention uh, just to re reiterate the banshees of inner sharon everything everywhere all at once all quiet on the western front tar and the fablemans um other outsiders uh, that could possibly nibble nibble at this is uh you know after sun could paul mescal be up for a uh, an oscar nod um, could also the Woman King, director of The Woman King, um, Gina prince Bythewood, could she also uh, potentially um, uh, get an Oscar nod, nod too? So, um, yeah, it's going to be intriguing. I mean, it, as The Times is reporting, it's not necessarily what's going to come first, it's kind of what's going to come second that's kind of interesting. No, nothing ever comes second. Everything comes second, doesn't it? Once you had a winner, so that's a nonsensical comment. Actually, of course, I forgot to mention in uh, all the excitement, Elvis. I think Elvis stands a very good chance of winning something thing for Austin Butler. So um, so Elvis is in there too. And just imagine the excitement that all of the kind of shortlisted artists, uh, filmmakers, uh, technical crew and actors and actresses, just imagine how excited this is going to be, they're going to be as they watch whether their film has been shortlisted. Of course, if only we could have been too. Today could have been a very different day. But um, anyway, looking forward to it and uh, let's get on with it. Here are the nominees for performance by an actress Here we go. in a supporting role. Angela Bassett in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Stalwart. Absolute stalwart. Hong Chao in The Whale. Oh, wow. And she's also in The Menu. Fabulous actress. Kerry Condon in The Banshees in the Sharon. I'd like her to win. Jamie Lee Curtis in Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. She is very good. Very good. And Stephanie Hsu. <laughs> Everything, wow. Everywhere, All at Once. Two Everything, Everywhere, All at Onces, uh, just in the Best Supporting Actress. Kerry Condon, for me, is an absolute... That's just brilliant. I'm excited about that. And also, obviously, Misha... Uh, also, of, and also, obviously, Angela Bassett there. Now, Angela Bassett could well win. She's She's been in the industry for years. Um, you know, sometimes the Oscars goes for one of those awards which is about celebrating a career as much as it is about one performance. Next up, here are the nominees for Achievement oh, in original Music. Score. Original score. I like this category. All Christos. Quiet on the Western Front. Brilliant soundtrack. Very menacing. Babylon. Wow. The Banshees of Inna Sharon. Yeah, Carter Burwell. Brilliant. Everything Everywhere All at Once. Well, I think everything's going to do well this and year. And The Fablemans. Yes. Beautiful. John Williams. And now we have the first of the two award categories that honor writers. The first is Adapted Screenplay. The nominees are All Quiet on the Western Front. Very good. Screenplay by Edward Berger, Leslie Patterson, Very and Ian powerful. Stokel. Very famous novel. Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. Wow. Written by Ryan Johnson. Okay. Do you know that was based on Living. something? Written by Kazuo oh, Ishiguro. Wow. 
OK. The Bill Nye movie. And Top Gun Maverick. Screenplay by Aaron based Kruger on the and Eric Warren Singer based and on Christopher the McQuarrie. Story by Peter Craig and Justin Marks. And Women Talking. Wow. Screenplay Yet by to see Sarah Polly. I'm hearing great things about Women Talking. And here are the nominees for Original Screenplay. Could Faye Woman's be here? The Banshees of Inna Sharon, written by Martin ha McDonough. Has to win. Staggering. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Written by Daniel Kwan Good and win. Daniel Shiner. The Fablemans, written by Steven Spielberg and Tony Crusher. Oh, wow. Deservedly so. Tar, written by Todd Field. And Triangle of Sadness, written wow. by Ruben Usman. Okay. Now, it's with great pleasure that I get to announce this year's nominees for Best Live Action Oh, this would have been us. This would have been us. An Irish Goodbye. Been out very good. Ifalu. Don't know about that. Les Pupilles. Night Ride. Oh, wow. And The Red Suitcase. So there you go, best uh, live action short. Oh, I was just kind of hoping that maybe they'd made a mistake. Um, best animated short, look, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. Um, we watch that, Charlie McKeezy. Imagine if you won a, an Oscar. Um, looking good. Uh, original screenplay, I personally think Banshees of Inner Sharon uh, or The Fablemans. Here are the nominees for performance by an actor in a supporting role. Brendan Gleeson in The Banshees of Inner Sharon. Very good. Brian Tyree Henry in Wow, wow, fantastic. He's in the Ascendant. Judd Hirsch in The Fablemans. He's fantastic in The, in the Fablemans. Barry Keoghan in The Banshees oh, of Inishar. And Ki Hui Kwan in Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. What do you think, guys? Ki Hui Kwan, I think, could win that. So interesting 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 best supporting actor selection there brendan gleason he's extraordinarily good um uh, judd hirsch is a very small part in the fablemans but my god it's impactful brian tyree henry obviously he came to sort of prominence with atlanta he's been in so many movies just keeps banging in meaningful performances i'm absolutely tickled for barry keown what a remarkable journey he's come from i think he he was an orphan he was in a foster home he's, he's had such an amazing arc to his career but of course i think k hui Kwan uh, could be the favourite in that category, which is another one, another nod for everything, everywhere, all at once. Now, next up, the nominees for Best Documentary Feature Film. All That Breathes. I'm wondering if Fire of Love might be in it. All the Beauty and the Bloodshed. Fire of Love. Yes. We caught up with them at the Sundance Festival. House made of Splinters. Navalny. Wow. Here are the nominees for Best International Feature Film. Right. All Quiet on the Western Front. All Quiet on the Western Front, Germany. Come on. I'd like that to win. Argentina, 1985. Keep hearing good things about that. Close, Belgium. Oh, don't know, don't know that. Eo, Poland. Come on, the Quiet Girl. And The Quiet Girl, yes. Ireland. That's a tough one between those two. Here are the nominees for Best Animated Feature Film. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Then that's going to win. Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. Puss in Boots, The Last Book. Keep hearing that, it's very good. The Sea Beast. And Turning Red. Ah, oh, lovely. So international feature film, The Quiet Girl and All Quiet on the Western Front. Really, it's, it's a trade-off between the two of them. They are such great movies. See them both, watch them both. Inc opposite ends of the genre spectrum. Uh, I think that's... I'm split. I'm split between the two, if I'm really honest. So obviously all of the other more technical uh, nominations we're not featuring, but at the end there'll be a total tally for each film, and All Quiet on the Western Front is doing very well, as is Elvis and as is Babylon. The nominees for Achievement in Film Editing are... The Banshees of Inna Sharon. 
Elvis. Everything, everywhere, all at once. That should win. Spankering Tar. everything. And Top Gun, Maverick. Nicely edited. Next up, the nominees for Achievement in Cinematography. Oh, all quiet. All quiet on the Western Front. This could be where All Quiet gets a lot of wins. Bardo, False Chronicle, and a handful of troops. Does Elvis. look amazing. Is beautiful. Empire shot. of Light. Is beautiful. And Tar. All right. It's time for our final four awards. Here are the nominees for performance wow. by an go. actor in a leading role. Colin Farrell. Austin Butler in Elvis. Deservedly. Colin Farrell in The Banshees of Inisherin. Brendan Fraser in The Whale. Oh, you've got the nomination. Paul Meskel in After Sun. Wow. Wow. And Bill Nye in Living. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. Paul Mescal gets an Oscar nod. And now the five nominees for performance by an actress wow. in a leading role. Kate Blanchett in Tar. She's going to win. Anna de Armas in Blonde. Yes, deservedly so. Andrea Riseborough in To Leslie. Wow. Michelle Williams in The Fablemans. Yes. Brilliant. And Michelle Yeoh in Everything, Everywhere, All the Wow. Anna de Armas. Anna de Armas. Just two categories remain. The first is Achievement in Directing, and the nominees are... Will Spielberg get an odd? Martin McDonough, The Banshees of Inna Sharon. Very good. Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Steven Spielberg, The Fablemans. Yes. Todd Field, Tar. And Ruben Usland, Triangle of Sadness. Wow! Wow, two of those films didn't have a huge reaction to. Now the final category. Here are the ten nominees wow. for Best ten. Motion Picture of the Year. All Quiet on the Western Front. Malta Glunut, producer. Avatar, The Way of Water. Wow. James Cameron and John Landau, producers. The Banshees of Inna Sharon. Graham Broadbent, Pete Chernin, and Martin McDonough, producers. Elvis, Baz Luhrmann, Catherine Martin, Not surprising. Gail Not Berman, surprising. Patrick McCormick, and Skylar Weiss, producers. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Daniel Kwan, Daniel Scheiner, and Jonathan Wong, producers. The Fablemans, Christy McCosco Krieger, Steven Spielberg, and Tony Kushner, producers. Please about that. Tar. Tar. Todd Field, Alexander Milchan, and Scott Lambert, producers. Top Gun Maverick, Tom Cruise, wow. Christopher McQuarrie, David Ellison, and Jerry Bruckheimer, producers. Triangle of Sadness, Eric Hemendorf and Philippe Aubert, producers. Wow. And Women Talking. <laughs> Dee Gardner, Jeremy Kleiner and Francis McDormand, producers. Wow. So there we have it, there we have it. So not a lot of surprises in there. A few, a few surprises in there. I think Hong Chow for The Whale is a, is a nice surprise. Kerry Condon is, is really wonderful. Stephanie Hsu uh, for Everything Everywhere All At Once. That's in the Best Supporting Actress. Um, in Best uh, da, 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 da. best Actor in a Supporting Role. Uh, Brian Tyree Henry, I, I'm feeling. And Barry Keown are two really pleasant additions. As I say, I think that's probably going to go to Kehui Kwan. Sorry if I'm pronouncing his name incorrectly. Um, best international feature film, uh, All Quiet on the Western Front has to has to get there. But I think The Quiet Girl is a close contender, incredibly sensitive, contemplative film. Wonderful that a film like that, uh, so gentle in a sense, should kick through to the Oscars. That's just what, such wonderful news. Just want to give a few nods to some of the technical uh, nominations. All Quiet on the Western Front has, has got a lot of those. 
Um, Elvis has got quite a few of the technical cinematography, production design, deservedly so. Visual effects, unsurprisingly, Avatar is in there. The Batman, Black Panther, Top Gun, but also All Quiet on the Western Front. Be nominations for Best Actor, as I say, the big surprise is Paul Mescal after Sun. The wonderful addition is Brendan Fraser, de deservedly so for The Whale, and Colin Farrell for The Banshees, and Austin Butler. I mean, they're all brilliant. Bill Nye, wonderful too. I personally just think Bonai doesn't quite match those other performances. Best Actress, it's a surefire fact that Kate Blanchett is going to win, but I'm absolutely chuffed that despite the controversy, despite the polarising effect of Blonde the movie, Anna de Armas has been nominated for Best Actress. It would have been criminal if a performance like that went unnoticed. I think this is going to be a competition between Michelle Yeoh and Kate Blanchett. Wonderful to see Michelle Williams in there and a real surprise to see Andrea Riseborough. Um, I'm shocked and surprised, to be honest with you, by... Um, uh, Triangle of Sadness being at the top there. I know it's a, I know it won the Palm Door. I know a lot of people love it. I, I felt it. I just felt it fell short. I know Nanny Dye doesn't agree. Uh, Best Director, uh, wonderful to see the Fablemans in there. Uh, Steven Spielberg, Tar, obviously Banshees and everything everywhere all at once. I think it's going to be one of those two. And for Best Picture, uh, perhaps the surprise in there is Women Talking. Haven't yet seen that. And the gesture towards the box office titans, um, Top Gun, uh, Maverick, and Avatar. Uh, a surprising absence there, actually, is uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I don't think Top Gun or Avatar are going to get Best Picture, only because I think they're going to... The, the Academy are making a gesture towards uh, tentpole box office hits, but I think it will go to one of the, either All Quiet, The Banshees, Everything Everywhere All at Once, or possibly Tar... But you never know, the Fablemans might please everyone. Uh, so there you have it. Those are the Oscar nominations for uh, 2023, the 95th uh, Academy Awards. And obviously, uh, we're going to endeavour to be uh, going through them live as they're announced. What do you think? Has anyone been missed that you think should have been included? Any surprises there for you? And who are you hungry uh, for to win some of these, some of these awards?